Hi again. This is the Kajehina proposal video, where they do go on a trip to Canada, as said in the last part of the packing up prank video. I do not own the Heikaiu characters and this does not accurately represent the Heikaiu characters. Hope you enjoy the video. Kajima had planned the trip for months. He had put so much time into making it perfect. He had talked to Asahi and Nishinoya about places to travel to. He had asked Yachi and Kyoko how he should go about doing it. He even asked Yaku about it the day before the flight to Canada. This was the trip where he planned on proposing to Hinata. He had the rings prepared in his suitcase. He had gotten a cabin by a lake. And he had mentally prepared to be rejected. He was ready. At the cabin. It's so cool. Hinata jumped up in excitement as he ran around the cabin. It is. It's so pretty outside. Hinata looked at all the white trees that were covered in snow. Adding a sense of mysticism to it. It's almost magical. Right? Hinata had a giant smile on his face. Which made Kajima smile as well. Even you can't smile creepily surrounded by this scenery. Kajima rolled his eyes as he pulled out the keys for the cabin. Want to see the inside? Yes. Kajima approached the front door and unlocked it as Hinata ran past him and inside. The inside was homey feeling. With a fireplace. Some warm toned rugs. A couch and more. Wow. I know. It's so nice. Everything is so something isn't it? Find a better description word. Dot. Exactly. Fine. Kajima grumbled as he walked back outside and pulled out the luggage to bring inside. Hey, Tobio? Yeah? Kajima walked back inside as he placed the suitcases into the bedroom. Why did you plan this trip? Dot. Question mark. Reasons. Dot. 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 That's it? Yeah. Is there something you can't tell me? Yeah. Is it a good or bad thing? Depends on the result. Result? Yeah. Anyways. We should eat dinner and go to bed. Tomorrow is a day packed full of events. Okay. Hinata looked at him suspiciously as they brought the food in from the car and started cooking. The next day. Kajima had planned some fun things for them to do such as ice skating, skiing, and dinner on the cabin porch looking out at the lake. Kajima had talked over a plan with Kiyoko earlier where during the day he would wear his engagement ring. If or when Hinata noticed the ring, Kajima would propose then, to make it seem less set up since neither Kajima nor Hinata were good with planned events. Kajima woke up before Hinata for once, so he decided to put his ring on and pack Hinata's ring in his coat. Tobio? Yeah? Come here. Hinata pat the bed next to him. Kajima walked over to him and sat on the bed. Good. Hinata wrapped his arms around Kajima, and pulled him down next to him. Comfy. We have to get going soon. I know. But this is just so comfortable. Shoyo. Kajima put his hand, which had the finger with the ring on it, on Hinata's arm. Burr. Your fingers are cold. Hinata yawned as he got up from the bed and walked towards the shower. He didn't notice. They drove to the outside ice skating place. Once arriving they got their ice skates and started learning to skate. Hinata picked it up quickly and he was literally skating circles around Kajima. Ha ha. Stop showing off. But it's so easy. Clearly not. Kajima wobbled as he started falling. He grabbed onto Hinata, again with the hand with the ring on it. Watch out. Hinata grabbed him as he pulled him up. Hinata smiled as he went to skate around the rink. Again, nothing. They finished skating, with Hinata skating very well and Kajima still barely able to keep his balance while skating slowly. What's next? Skiing. Awesome. They got in the car again as Kajima got into the driver's seat. He grabbed the wheel and started tapping his ring against it. Hmm. I wonder if skiing will be fun. Probably. I've never done it before. I have. I took a trip with my sister before. How nice. This time I'll be better than you. Obviously. I can't just be skilled at something I've never done. You just. Kajima let himself trail off as he noticed again that Hinata did not notice his attempt to make the ring obviously visible. Skiing went well. Kajima was able to do more difficult slopes which made Hinata want to do them as well. Which made Kajima have to stick to the easy slopes with Hinata. Kajima couldn't make any obvious gestures to the ring. Since they had to wear gloves. Back at the cabin for dinner. Kajima had hopes the engagement would happen today. But it wasn't going to happen. Hinata was oblivious. Tobio. What should we have? Hinata yelled from the kitchen. Kajima was setting the table outside. I don't care. Food. I ordered pizza. Hinata approached Kajima as Kajima shrugged. That's good. Nice and warm. My exact reasoning. 
Of course. Kajiyama smiled at Hinata lovingly as he placed the hand with the ring around Hinata's shoulder, unconsciously. How dare. Wait. What's that? Hinata pulled off Kajiyama's ring and looked at it. That was on my finger. Your finger? Yes. That is the one part of your body that is mine. Ha? Huh? Because it's the engagement and wedding ring finger, so it is mine since you are marrying me. I see. Right? Well. Kajiyama looked away suspiciously as Hinata's eyes widened. Is that why you took me on the trip? So we could have one last memory before we breathe? No. Kajiyama placed his hand over Hinata's mouth. Look, Shoyo. I seem to have fallen in love with you. Deeply. Kajiyama let go of Hinata as he got down on one knee and pulled out a box and opened the lid to reveal a ring. Oh. I can't really express or explain my feelings well. So I thought this might be able to convey a sliver of how much I love and adore you. Dot. Shoyo. We started off enemies. I thought you were some crazy, talentless volleyball player. You thought I was some stuck-up rude setter. So true. No insulting me during my proposal speech. I only agreed. Right. Anyways. We grew closer through volleyball and I couldn't be happier to have chosen Karasuno as the school I went to. When we had to go our separate ways for volleyball I was heartbroken. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. We both had to do some growing up and changing. But throughout it all. All the video calls and texts. One feeling remained the same. Love. Now that we can share an apartment together and can see each other in person every day. I can happily say that I could not be more in love with you. I don't think it is humanly possible. Hinata had tears streaming down his face. So. I decided to do this. He gestured to the two rings. Shoyo Hinata. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Even if we move away from each other again. I want to be yours and I want you to be mine. Shoyo. Will you marry me? Hinata smiled as he nodded. Trying to stop the tears. Kajima smiled as tears rolled out of his eyes as he felt a sense of relief. I'm so happy. Me too. Hinata took Kajima's hand as he placed the ring back on his hand. Kajima took Hinata's as he placed the ring on Hinata's finger. Kajima got up and hugged Hinata tightly. Thank you. Thank you so much. For what? Everything. Idiot. Hinata hugged Kajima back. This is a picture of the scene. They enjoyed the rest of the trip as fiancés. Finn. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will be the start of another prank. Exciting news. I have a Discord server. You can join with the link in the description below. Also, I have an Instagram if you'd like to follow there is a link in the description below. I mostly just post random drawings I do or post updates about when a new video is coming out. If you'd like to suggest any video ideas you can comment them down below or DM me on Instagram. If you'd like to support me, and maybe buy me a coffee for my late night editing sessions, there is a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.